in Spirit Lake along with uh, Sarah Williams for Fuller Digital Solutions. Thanks for making the trip up here, Sarah, and providing the video stream for us here as we're getting ready for Lakes Conference baseball action. Cherokee Braves here on the road taking on Spirit Lake. We'll step aside here for a moment, come back with tonight's starting lineups. You're tuned in to Classic Hits, KCHE, and Fuller Digital Solutions. Comprehensive health care is available to you from your friends and neighbors at Cherokee Regional Medical Center. When you need us most, we're here with trusted professionals, medical expertise, and advanced technology to take care of you. From obstetrics and family medicine to surgery and physical therapy, let our dedicated team provide you with compassionate care, quality health care, close to home. Our promise is a positive, friendly care experience every time. Get professional care, made personal, at Cherokee Regional Medical Center because it's all about you. Casters for their support because of the kche sportscaster club we have been serving the financial needs of this area for a long time many of today's customers are the great grandchildren of yesterday's as we look ahead we are very thankful for the opportunity to serve the financial needs of this area cherokee state bank member fdic a tradition of community banking it's a tradition that's just our way Cherokee State Bank, celebrating 125 years of serving you. Welcome back to Spirit Lake as we're getting set for Lakes Conference baseball action. Cherokee Braves here on the road taking on Spirit Lake. We'll tell you a little bit about these two teams. The Cherokee Braves uh, sitting at the bottom of the Lakes Conference with a 2-7 and seven record overall, 1-4 and four in the Lakes Conference. And Spirit Lake, uh, surprising me, I didn't uh, really pick them to be top of the Lakes Conference. They're 8-2 uh, and two overall, 5-1 and one in the Lakes. I kind of thought that uh, Spencer... Uh, would be at the top, which they are at the top, and there's still a few games left here this next week before we get into that postseason. And then uh, also I kind of thought Storm Lake would be doing a little bit better, but, uh, you know, they're a young team, uh, so um, that, that's kind of the story. So the Braves 1-4 and four in the Lakes Conference. Spirit Lake is 5-1. and one. Taking a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Braves tonight, it'll be Nick, Plate, uh, Nick Clark behind the plate. Simon Mummert will be at shortstop. Joe Benson out in center field. Trey... Uh, Benson will be at third base. Aiden Comstock holding down first base. Drew Spooner at second. Kobe Grell will be on the mound tonight. In right field, we've got senior Bryce Kramer. Uh, Edwin Staver will be DHing for him. And then in left field, we have Trevor Lundquist. For the home team here, the Spirit Lake Indians, it will be Riley Reynolds at shortstop. Michael Stein out in center field. And then they've got Max Carney behind the plate, and he is uh, probably... Uh, I would say probably the top catcher in the Lakes Conference. And then we have Cole Whiting at second base, Lawton Kramer at third, Isaac Early at first, Jake Cornwall is DHing for Ben Frostestead, the pitcher. And then we have Kale Donkersloot in left field and Brock Peterson in right field. So the Braves are getting announced right now. That will be the Spirit Lake Indians being announced. So then we will have the national anthem. So what we'll do is we'll step aside here for a few minutes, probably two or three, and we'll come back and talk more baseball before we have that opening pitch. We'll be back here in just a few moments. You're tuned in to Four Digital Solutions and Classic Hits, KCHE. It's about caring for one another, loving one another, being there for family and friends. At Holstein Senior Living, we are here to provide that little extra care while you live life to the fullest. Wake up when you want. Participate in daily activities at your discretion. Eat meals on your time, which includes an all-day breakfast menu. All with the comfort of knowing there are trained professional staff available at any time for the little extra caring things that may require a helping hand. Holstein Senior Living, offering assisted and independent living options with care. activities. Thank you. To these and Sioux Valley Family Health will provide quality health care from newborn babies to grandparents. Our vision is to improve the health of our community by improving the health of the families who live here. It is our priority to treat each patient as if they are our own family when you enter our clinic doors, as if you are entering our home. I'm Dr. Chris Vandaloon, and I have loved taking care of people in this community for 15 years and look forward to doing so again in this family-centered environment. for their support. Account of your own can be a challenging task. That's why I went to North Star Community Credit Union. They helped make my finances easier to handle by offering me the services and products I need at a price that will fit my budget. They've got it all. Savings, checking, ATM or debit card, loans, direct deposit, free online and mobile banking, e-statements, bill pay, and much more to suit my busy lifestyle. See for yourself why so many people like me have made North Star Community Credit Union their one-stop financial institution. Visit their offices in Cherokee, Ida Grove, or Sheldon to start an account today. Federally insured by NC. UA, you've got a strong credit union behind you. Members. 
I'm Cherokee High School Principal Wade Riley. I'm proud of our faculty, coaching staff, and for a new or used vehicle, then visit Holzara Motors in Cherokee with two locations to serve you. The Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram dealership across from the airport on Highway 59 South or the GM dealership on Highway 59 North. And if it's service you need, they feature ASC factory trained service technicians dedicated to fix your vehicle right the first time. Customer service from Holzara Motors is top of the line in their state-of-the-art facilities on a first-name relationship with their customers. Visit their website, www.holzauramotors.com for their entire new and used inventory and don't forget to like them on facebook thank you to these kche sportscaster club members when it comes to general building needs customer satisfaction is their number one goal at fence and construction in cherokee booming house in cherokee full service flower shop gift shop and greenhouse open year round Hi, this is Brad Riley at Brad's Tire Service Center. Come see us for all your tire and automotive needs. The Cherokee Athletic Booster Club would like to invite you to come out to all the Cherokee Brave Athletic events and help us cheer on and support the Braves. Make sure to stop by the Booster Merchandise table as well to get all your Braves gear. The Athletic Booster Club helps provide updated equipment, meals on the road, and helps ensure a fun and safe environment for all Brave Athletics. Come on out and support the Cherokee Braves with us all season long. KCHE AM 1440. Welcome back to Spirit Lake here. We've got the Cherokee Braves on the road here uh, taking on Spirit Lake in conference action. The Cherokee Braves will have three batters up here this first uh, half inning. It's going to be Nick Clark, Simon Mummert, and then it would be the center fielder tonight, Joe Benson. I think this is the uh, first night uh, game here that Joe Benson is uh, getting a start out in center field. So, uh, you know, Joe's a good kid. He uh, knows a lot about the game of baseball, and uh, sure he'll play that position pretty well. On uh, the other side, pitching tonight for the Spirit Lake Indians, it is Ben Frostestead. He is a senior, 3-0 and this year, has pitched 17 innings, 254 pitches, so throws a few pitches, holding batters to an average of 178, and he has struck out 19 of, let's see, they don't tell you how many batters they have faced, so... Uh, but, yeah, he struck out 19, and he has a 1.24 ERA. He has walked six, and uh, let's see, he has hit one batter. So, for the most part, it seems like Ben Frostestad does get the ball across the plate. So, uh, do up for the Cherokee Braves. It's going to be Nick Clark, Simon Mummer, and Joe Benson to lead things off. On the other side tonight for the Cherokee Braves, it's senior Kobe Grell. First time he's pitched in uh, just about two weeks. Kobe Grell has pitched three innings and has a 11.67 ERA. So, Hopefully, Kobe comes out firing strong. Uh, once again, Kobe, one of the few seniors we have on the Cherokee Braves baseball team. Uh, seniors include Bryce Kramer, Kobe Grell, and Trevor Lundquist. I believe those are the three, yes. So it's going to be Nick Clark in that leadoff spot. He's batting 318 this year. So Clark going to step into the box. Nice night here for baseball. And Frost is dead, comes set. Now he's going to come to the plate. First pitch runs up and in for ball number one. They've got nice facilities here in Spirit Lake. They've got the netting that goes from dugout to dugout. Some nice stadium seating here. About uh, one big section in the middle and two on each side down the baselines. Here's the 1-0. Mummert thought about going after it. Hits the upper outside corner for strike one. The only bad part about uh, the uh, facilities here at Spirit Lake is... Uh, uh, if you need to uh, use the restroom or visit the concession stand when that's open, you've got to walk all the way around out to center field. That one's going to miss high, ball two. But then on the other side of the concession stand, they have the softball field. So I understand why they built it the way that they did. Two and one the count here to Nick Clark. Here's the pitch. And Clark's going to pop this one out to right center field, and it will be caught out in center field by Michael Stein. Thought that one was maybe headed a little bit more towards the gap. Trying to fly, find the uh, flag here to see if maybe the wind maybe kind of knocked it back towards center a little bit, but no. Not sure where is the flag here. Straight out. Straight out. The, there's like no wind. It's hanging straight down. That's why I can barely see it. <laughs> Simon Mummer to the plate. Here's the pitch. I think that one went behind him. That's going to be ball one. And kudos to this uh, Spirit Lake team. They've got a young man, probably either an eighth grader or a freshman, retrieving those pass balls. Otherwise, it's your catcher that has to get up and get it. 
Usually it's the uh, other team's on deck batter, but with uh, coronavirus precautions. Here's the 1 0 to Mummer in there for strike one. I can just kind of tell that this uh, umpire is going to allow that uh, up and away strike to be called. One out, nobody on here for the Braves. Frost instead comes set to the plate. Mummer, good cut there. Swang right over top of it, though. Looks like his timing was just about right. So one ball, two strikes, one out, nobody on here, no score. Top half of the first inning. On deck, we've got center fielder Joe Benson. Shortstop Simon Mummer at the plate. That one's fouled straight back. Kind of hit the top of the cement backstop there and popped up. So Mummert will get back in there with a one and two count. Nick Clark popped out to center field. Frost instead comes set, comes to the plate. That one's popped up right side. Will there be room? I believe so, yes. Kind of a blind spot, but the home plate umpire says that first baseman, Isaac Early, made the out. So two away, two pop-ups here for the Braves. Going to bring up Joe Benson batting 292 from the right side of the plate. Last year, I always kind of gave Joe a little bit of a hard time. He was always first pitch swinging, but I don't blame you. That's a, a lot of the time the best pitch you see. Now he swings at the first pitch out towards the left field. That is deep, and that's going to roll, and Joe's going to be around first base, and he's going to be into second base with a stand-up double. Seemed like the uh, outfield was kind of playing in a little bit on that, and Joe took advantage of it, hit it right to the gap in left center. Their left fielder does have some decent speed. Tracking that down was Kale Dankersloot. Had a pretty good run at it. Joe's aboard with a two-out double, going to bring up Trey Benson. So Trey Benson digs in. Here's the first pitch. That's going to miss low and away. Trey Benson this year, a sophomore, a lot of varsity time last year, batting 333. Got Aiden Comstock on deck. Runner at second base. Here's the pitch. That hit him. So two on with two outs. Runners at first and second. Nice night for a ball game here. And uh, Aiden Comstock is batting 375. So the sophomore off to a good start from the left side of the dish here. Freshman going into sophomore year. Here's the pitch. Reached for that one. Back to the pitcher to first in. Oh, an error. And now Aiden's going to round first, and he's going to head to second base. Brings in a run. Any way he can get it, brings in Joe. Braves are uh, very fortunate there. Not sure. I think you would have to mark that at E3 or E1. It, it was kind of a combination of the both. It, either way, somebody messed up and the Braves got one in. Trey Benson goes first to third. Comstock uh, being aware. Turned first and went to second right away. Brings up Drew Spooner. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike. That was a good-looking strike. This season, Drew Spooner, he's an eighth grader getting varsity time, batting 211. Drew has had some very clutch hits. I think he had a... Uh, kind of a go-ahead hit in extra innings uh, two weeks ago, be tomorrow on the road at ELC. Curveball fooled him, kind of showing his youth there. 0-2 the count here to Spooner, so now he's got to protect the plate. I think he also had another go-ahead against uh, Sheldon. Yeah, he had a big hit in that game. Here's the 0-2, and he's going to pop this one out to center field. Hits it pretty well, squared it up. But it is right out to center fielder Michael Stein. But the Braves do score one run, one hit on one air. There was two runners left on base. The Braves will take a one nothing lead to the bottom half of the first. Two up for Spirit Lake. It's Riley Reynolds, Michael Stein, and Max Carney. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on Fuller Digital Solutions and KCHE AM 1440. 1920s, the Boothby family has been serving the people of the Cherokee area. Our name is synonymous with professionalism, caring, compassion, and understanding. As third-generation funeral directors, Richard and David Boothby, pride ourselves in our commitment to the families we serve. We will provide a professional and dignified service for your loved one. Whether it is a traditional service, cremation with a memorial service, or a simple graveside service, we would be honored and privileged to serve your family like it was our own. Contact Richard or David Boothby and set up an appointment and put your mind at ease. The Boothby Funeral Home on East Main in downtown Cherokee. I'm 
Cherokee head girls basketball coach Brandon Slaughter. Thank you. Since 2010, our team at Ludvigson Chiropractic has been helping our patients feel like the best version of themselves. Dr. Kayla and Dr. Sarah provide treatment plans that are personalized to each patient's specific needs. Through chiropractic and acupuncture services, along with manual therapy techniques and kinesio taping, patients receive relief from back pain, sports injuries, and more. Dr. Sarah now offers microneedling as well. Acupuncture treatment helps restore overall well-being from chronic pain to new injury. We'd love to discuss whether acupuncture is right for you. Through chiropractic and acupuncture, and it's given me a great quality of life that I have never expected. Visit Ludvigsen Chiropractic to get on the road to a healthy lifestyle. That shot back to the pitcher, just kind of a little blooper, and uh, just a bad throw to first. So, And uh, Joe, good base running skills, came around and uh, was able to score. And then Drew Spooner popped up to in the inning. So to lead things off here for... Uh, Spirit Lake, it's going to be Riley Reynolds, Michael Stein, and Max Carney. So Riley Reynolds is a sophomore hitting 360 in that opening spot. Then we have Michael Stein. Michael Stein, another sophomore. He's uh, red hot, 424. And then it's uh, the catcher, Max Carney. He's a junior uh, hitting 259. We've got Neil Cruz joining us. How's Neil doing? Doing good, Keith. How are you? Doing pretty good. This is a nice field to have here in Spirit Lake. It's a praying a perfect night for baseball. Just a little bit of breeze. Uh, the players out there kind of dealing with that line of uh, where the uh, shadow is. So here's Kobe Grell, the senior. He comes set, comes to the plate. That's going to miss just a touch high. Ball one. I think Kobe last pitched against ELC a couple weeks ago. We'll tell you a little bit about, more about Kobe after this next pitch. He's got a 1-0 count to lead off hitter Riley Reynolds. And that's going to get past Nick Clark for ball two. See, now, Cherokee, don't you think they should have a young man in a uh, helmet going down to get that? Can you, just, uh, can you send Carter a text? Yeah. Carter. I'll do that. Gra grab the helmet, boy. So uh, it is uh, Kobe Grell on the mound. He has uh, pitched three innings this year, an 11.67 ERA. A 2-0 count to Riley Reynolds, the leadoff hitter. So hopefully Kobe Grell can get settled down and find the zone here. Good velocity, just a little bit too high. So a 3-0 count is the count here. Braves lead 1-0. We're in the bottom half of the first inning. You got one run there in the top half of the first. Here's Kobe out of the windup to the plate. I think he tried to push that one a little bit too much. So base on balls there. Puts one aboard for Michael Stein. And on deck, uh, you've got Max Carney. He's a junior uh, just look at the build of Max Carney, a catcher. He is a big kid. You can look at him and know he's a catcher. <laughs> probably, uh, probably, probably uh, if he plays football, probably uh, likes to hit people. Runner gets a lead. There's a left-handed hit out to left field from Stein. That could be trouble. Lundquist has to get on his horse. He's going to pick it up and throw it in. And at third base, they'll uh, get it into Trey. So I'm going to mark that down a double. That was right down the line. Michael Stein was all over that first pitch strike. So that moves Reynolds to third. Going to bring up Max Carney now, a 259 hitter. Max Carney, a 259. This season, Max Carney uh, has four singles, two doubles, seven RBIs. He's walked 10 times. He's struck out 12 times of his 28 at bats. So maybe you can get him swinging. Here's the pitch, and he's going to lace this one out to center field. Joe's going to get underneath of it, and they'll get the ball in. They need to go to third base. Mummert can't get it there in time. It was the right idea, but a sack fly. Simon had trouble getting that out of his glove. If not, I think that's a play at third. I would agree with you there. So that moves Stein to third. Reynolds comes in to score, and Carney is out, but that is a sack fly. RBI, we're tied up 1-1 with one away here. Runner at third. Brings up Cole Whiting, the second baseman. Uh, let's see here, Cole Whiting. If I can find him on my list here. He's another left-handed hitter. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike. So the last, uh, you know, Kobe threw four balls to Reynolds. Stein jumped over the first pitch, hit a double. Carney jumped over the first pitch and hit a sack fly RBI. Here's the pitch. It's going to miss low. So one ball, one strike. So it's Cole Whiting 
at the plate. He's a junior batting 333 in that cleanup spot. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Touch high. Kobe's right around the zone, just needs to be able to bring it down a little bit. I talked to Kobe before the game, and uh, he said his arm was feeling good. He said he was feeling a little confident, and also that uh, he likes the mound out here. Here's the 2-1. It's going to miss upstairs. Brings the count. Three balls, one strike, one out. Runner at third base here for Spirit Lake. We're tied up 1-1 here in the bottom half of the first. So Kobe working out of the stretch. Brings the 3-1 pitch to the plate. That's going to be popped up. I believe that's going to get out of play. Or does Comstock have enough real estate? No. Good hustle by uh, Comstock over at first. It's going to bring the count three and two full. On deck, you have Lawton Kramer. Lawton Kramer, a senior, batting 219. I'd like to be able to get another out here. Typically, once you get to the that bottom three-fourths of the lineup, you can hopefully get a strike out there. That is pulled down the uh, right field line. Cherokee player needs to go get that. Who's that young man, number 12? Do you know? I'll put Caleb, you on the... Caleb Curtis. Caleb Curtis. Good hustle. Here's the full count pitch, and that's going to be a dead ball. <clears throat> so runners on the corners. And let's see here. Uh, to first now is Cole Whiting. He's a junior, and uh, he is three for three on stolen bases. So I would imagine here with runners on the corners, he would maybe be going here on the first pitch. Brings up Lawton Kramer, the first baseman. Actually, third baseman, if I can read my own handwriting, batting 219 this season. Runners at first and third. Whiting a lead. It's not going to go. They kind of threw that one out to Clark, so he would have been able to come up out of the stance. Now's the time when you would like to have a, that left handed hitter. Here's the 1 0 with one out. He's going to square to bunt. Runner's going to go. Pulls it back. Clark. Lost it out of his glove. Not a whole lot of teams like to run on Clark. He's got a pretty good, gets that ball right to the ear and just throws it on a rope. He's quick out of that stance. 1 0 the count, 1 out. Two runners in scoring position here. And Kobe Grell going to take a little bit of a second before getting back into the stretch. 1 0 the count. Here's the pitch. In there for a called strike. If I remember correctly, last year the Braves had a really tight contest here at Spirit Lake up here on the road. And uh, I think it was tied in the bottom half of the seventh. And they had the squeeze bunt play on with two strikes and they got it. This is inside. Going to run the count two and one. That's always a gutsy call when you go for the bunt play with two strikes. Because if you if it goes foul, that's, that's it. I wonder what the percentages are on that. <sighs> Probably pretty low. Really but, low. But the kid got it. Two and one the count. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be hit out to left field. Lundquist is tailing all the way to the fence. Took a bad hop for the Braves off the fence. That's going to clear the bases. Brings in two runs. I tell you, Whitey down at first base, he's pretty quick. I guess he was he was going on it. Well, I guess he was at second base. So that's going to score Stein and Michael Whiting. That's a two RBI double with one out. Isaac Early to the plate. Isaac Early, where are you at here? At the very bottom, a sophomore batting 129. So here's where you need to get your outs. Misses high, ball one. One and the count. Runner at second base. That is Lawton Kramer. Just hit a two-run double. Fouled straight back. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner at second base. I see a lot of fans here. They bring the uh, the big water jugs with them because when you're sitting outside, and uh, like for me, you know, it's 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 warm out and talk quite a bit. Got to have that hydration. One and one the count. Thanks to all of our Fuller Digital Solutions viewers. Runner at second base. Here's the pitch. 
That one is popped sky high. Who's going to call for it? Comstock will and puts it away. I think there might be a little bit more of a breeze once the ball gets up because Comstock did. He, he had it played perfectly, then had to take about a half step back. That's going to be out number two. Jake Cornwall to the plate here. Jake Cornwall, just a freshman, batting 207. This will be the seventh batter this half inning. So far, three runs in for Spirit Lake. They lead 3-1. And that ball is hit out to right field into foul territory. So another foul ball. Oh, and one the count, two outs. Neil, do you have big 4th of July plans? I do not, Keith. Me you? No. no. Oh, and one the count, two outs. Here's the pitch. That's a swinging bunt, rolls foul down the third baseline. So one ball, one strike to DH Jake Cornwall. He's batting for Ben Frost to have the pitcher. I think maybe my only plans, in all honesty, are, is to make a, a pork roast at some point. Make That's, some pulled pork. That sounds good. <laughs> do you use the shoulder roast to do that? That's I would use the shoulder roast or the like a Boston butt. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That is out number three. So in that half inning, Spirit Lake scores three runs, two hits. Uh, no Braves errors. I believe there was one runner left on base. We'll head to the top half of the second Spirit Lake leads 3-1, to one, due up for the Braves. It's going to be Kobe Grell, then it will be Edwin Staver, and Trevor Lundquist will be back in 60 seconds on KCHE AM 1440. Because of the KCHE Sports Caster. Snook's Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, your hometown flooring, furniture, and accessory store. Accommodating to your needs with quality products and awesome prices. The original Snooks Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, on your way anyway. Snooks Carpet and Furniture is on your way and ready to help update your home today. They offer free delivery, 0% financing options, and everyday low sale prices. So please stop by today. The original Snooks Carpet and Furniture in Sioux Rapids. Fancy bedding store, you'll find much more than just low prices. In their huge showroom, they have a great selection of appliances, TV, quality TV stands. The comprehensive health care is available to you from your friends and neighbors at Cherokee Regional Medical Center. When you need us most, we're here with trusted professionals, medical expertise, and advanced technology to take care of you. From obstetrics and family medicine to surgery and physical therapy, let our dedicated team provide you with compassionate care, quality health care, close to home. Our promise is a positive, friendly care experience every time. Get professional care made personal at Cherokee Regional Medical Center because it's all about you. Top half of the second inning three to one in favor of spirit lake and to lead things off here for the braves it's going to be kobe grell a senior I'll tell you about kobe's batting stats here in just a moment i want to say his average is around 200 or maybe a little lower uh kobe grell is a senior and he's batting 0 0.095 He's really been hitting the ball lately, though. He's been hammering it. He's just unfortunate at hitting it right to a lot of people. But he's hitting the ball lately. Here's the 1-0. Caught the outside corner. One ball, one strike. And Kobe, you know, one of those kids, that, you know, he's a senior this year, came back, played baseball last year. And uh, just that experience, you know, he got injured about three-fourths of the way through the season. Here's the 1-1. Swing and a miss, maybe chase that one out of the zone. Uh, you can tell with that experience, he has more confidence in at the plate this year. Last year, he just kind of looked a little timid. Because until last year, he hadn't played for a few years. Correct? Yes, it had been a while. And on deck, we have Edwin Staver. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss. That's the first strikeout of the game here. That's out number one. Brings up Edwin Staver. Let's see if Edwin, does he have any uh, varsity batting stats? A freshman. He, he put, Edwin he batted last night. He played last, started for the Braves last night. He was 0 for 1. Lefty. Here's the pitch. Look that strike all the way in. 0 and 1 the count. Then on deck you have another senior with Trevor Lundquist. Lundquist is a 176 hitter, but it's Edwin Staver at the plate. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. That's going to be in there for a called strike two. So 0-2 the count. 
One out, nobody on here for the Braves. Kobe Grell struck out to start the top half of the second here. Frostestad comes set to the plate. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Look, just missed. That was, I that one could have gone either way. We're, we're uh, pretty much almost right behind home plate, maybe towards the first base side a little bit. Here's the one, two. That's going to miss up and away, no doubt about that one. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. One out, nobody on here. I like calling games here. They've got these nice uh, kind of bar tables that are pretty tall that you can stand into a game. Called strike three. Got him looking. That was that looked like the the pitch that was two pitches it, before. It was about looked like about the same spot. And you know, credit to their pitcher Frostestad is uh, you know the umpire's given that up and away strike. So if he's gonna give it. You might as well go take it. That's up to the pitcher to to recognize that and say, hey, we're gonna pound that zone. Brings up Trevor Lundquist, a 176 hitter as a senior, fooled on the cha uh, breaking ball there. 0 and 1 the count. 0 and 1 the count. Two outs. Nobody on here for the Braves. It's 3-1. to one. Spirit Lake leads. Frost is dead. Comes set to the plate. Swing and a miss. Trevor swang right underneath of that. I believe Trevor's going to, is it Morningside? Or no, I believe Trevor's going to U and I. U and I, that's correct. He was fun to watch in football and basketball. and Glad to see him play baseball here this senior year. Yeah, Trevor's another one of them like Kobe, you know, decided to come out his senior year, and that's great having those kids out. That one missed just a touch high. Kind of like the way this Frost is dead pitches. Uh, he, he's pretty quick to the plate. He doesn't mess around. He gets up there and he goes. One and two, the count, two outs, nobody on. On deck, it's uh, Nick Clark, the top of the order. That one runs up and in, two and two now. Can see the softball field from here, but can't see the scoreboard. Spirit Lake softball team's pretty tough. Are they, are they good this year? I know they came out ranked early in the preseason. Trevor is going to hit one, a little blooper out to second base, caught by Whiting. Looks like he's not moving all that quick. Might be hobbled up or something, uh, but he does put it away. So in that half inning, Braves score no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. Due up for Spirit Lake. It's going to be batters 8, 9, and 1 with Donker Sloot, Peterson, and then Reynolds back in a minute on KCHE and Ford Digital Solutions. I'm Lily Anderson, one of the $500 KCC Sportscasters Club scholarship winners. Sioux Valley Family Health will provide quality health care from newborn babies to grandparents. Our vision is to improve the health of our community by improving the health of the families who live here. It is our priority to treat each patient as if they are our own family when you enter our clinic doors, as if you are entering our home. I'm Dr. Chris Vandaloon, and I have loved taking care of people in this community for 15 years and look forward to doing so again in this family-centered environment. Club scholarship Thank you to all the businesses who account of your own can be a challenging task. That's why I went to North Star Community Credit Union. They helped make my finances easier to handle by offering me the services and products I need at a price that will fit my budget. They've got it all. Savings, checking, ATM or debit card, loans, direct deposit, free online and mobile banking, e-statements, bill pay, and much more to suit my busy lifestyle. See for yourself why so many people like me have made North Star Community Credit Union their one-stop financial institution. Visit their offices in Cherokee, Ida Grove, or Sheldon to start an account today. Federally insured by NC UA, you've got a strong credit union behind you. In favor of Spirit Lake, they're going to have Kale Donker Sloot, Brock Peterson, then the top of the order here. So it's Kale Donker Sloot, the left fielder. He's a senior, batting 214. And it's Kobe Grell back out on the mound for his second inning of work. Spirit Lake leads 3 to 1. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike. Good job by Kobe. Going out and throwing that first pitch strike really helps when you can get one across early. That first pitch strike means it could do a lot for your mindset. 0-1 the count. Kobe comes set. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss. Kobe, he's kind of got a different delivery to the plate. Kind of brings that ball way back, and it's kind of hidden until you see it come right out of his hand at the end. That last pitch missed for a ball. One ball, one strike. No outs, nobody on here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's going to bounce in front of the plate. 2-1. and one. Let's 
So a nice night in Spirit Lake right next to the high school here. See the football field off in the distance. And the high school right now is kind of blocking the sun from us. So. Yes, we'll, we'll take that. We're, we're golden for the rest of the night. Here's the 2-1 from Kobe, and that's going to be popped down the third baseline, went over the uh, head coach's head. So two balls, two strikes here. Are you excited for Major League Baseball to be back? I am ready. I am I'm, ready for baseball. Is it July 25th? Oh, 23, 24, somewhere Some, in there, yeah. Somewhere in there. I think right after the NBA starts. I think the NBA starts on the 22nd, and then the base and baseball. Carter making a, he's he's got a little bit of a, a jaunt there for that ball. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. And that one's gonna be a slow roller. Mummer over to first. A one hopper for Comstock. And Went right by him. Good hustle by Clark. I think that's Clark over there. Yeah, the yeah. catcher Clark. He he always. There's times that he beats the runner, the base, the <laughs> hitter down to first base. That could have been Trey's ball at third. Maybe should have charged it a little bit more. So an error will allow Donker Sloot aboard. Brock Peterson to the plate. Brock Peterson is senior. 0 for 1 on the season, so does not have a batting average. Runner at first, no outs. Here's the pitch. Low and away. Good job by Clark keeping that in front of him. So if you have a pass ball here, you're definitely going to grab an oh, extra yeah. bag. Long ways to the backstop. 1 and 0 the count. Here's the 1-0, foul chopped down the third baseline. So one ball, one strike to Brock Peterson, the right fielder. Trying to think of a nickname for Carter with that number 20. Did he pick that number? Is that just kind of like, ah, here's a, I, here's a jersey? I'm not sure. He's eighth grade, so I'm pretty sure they started at the elder classman and went down, so I doubt he got to pick his number. I think I'm going to call him Carter Cruz Control. That, that that for you that's creative. That works. Here's the pitch. Runner's gonna go. The throw down to second, and he's gonna be caught in a pickle. Mummert tags him out. Good throw by Nick Clark. And Mummert realized, hey, I'm a little bit quicker than this guy at first base. I'm just gonna take it myself. And you know, Neil, I'm not sure. You know, if he maybe would have slid, he would have had a chance to maybe it, slide under that. It, it, I thought it was gonna be a close play, and then all of a sudden I saw Mummert with the ball and the guy running back to first base. And the last pitch was a strike, so one and two to Brock Peterson. But yeah, Nick made a really good throw. So Peterson with one out and nobody aboard here. The number nine hitter, Kobe Grell, working out of the stretch. See a lot of pitchers do that, just work out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss upstairs. Now, do you still uh, coach Little League a little bit here and there? Or was, well, well, you did that for Carter when he yep, was... And there's no Little League this year. That's so true. I probably would have helped. So when you're uh, helping pitchers out, do you like them? Do you, do you just tell them, you know, work with what you're comfortable with coming out of the stretch or the full windup? At, at the younger age, just tell them to work with whatever's comfortable. Here's the 2-2, two, two bounces in front of the plate, 3 and 2. You just want those younger kids to get comfortable with what they're doing, and then everything else will come after that. That's a good plan. So are you missing uh, Little League this, this summer, or you know, is, it, is it kind of nice to have a little free time? As nice as it is to have some free time, we sit home sometimes and think I, I should be at a game. Exactly. Yeah. We should be somewhere. Here's the three two, the full count pitch from Grell. And that's gonna be grounded to Mummer. Charges, picks it up over to first. Outran it. I would mark that a single infield hit. Brock Peterson makes it down the line. It's got to be hard for these guys to judge the ball on this grass when they're used to playing home <laughs> on turf. I mean it, it's totally different. That is tough. Trying to think of uh, baseball fields that we play on that are turf, Cherokee and Storm Lake. I know up in MOC, I think in Orange MOC City. has one. They play on the college field. Yep. Yeah. But other than that, I mean. Not many. Nope. One out, one on. Top of the order, Riley Reynolds. Runner at first gets a lead. Clark says, hey, throw one out. In there for a strike. Clark is, uh, you know, such a 
an asset to the team behind the plate because he can kind of read what's going on in the field. I always feel like if you've got a strong catcher behind the plate, you've always got maybe a little bit of an upper hand. He's kind of, I mean, if you look at it, he's kind of a coach on the field. Yeah, kind of like, you know, what a point guard does in basketball, just kind of controls everything. And and I've always had a lot of respect for catchers. And you you think about it, even at the major league, that um, here's the 1-1 from Kobe. Misses inside 2-1. and one. At the major league level, you know, you, uh, you, you've you got to know where everybody's at. you got to be a catcher. you got to have that going for you. And then a lot of the time, you know, there's, there's a guy on the mound. You may not speak the same first language. So you've yeah, got to speak the Absolutely. language of baseball. Absolutely. Here's the 2-1. Thought that was maybe going to catch the outside corner, but just missed. That is ball three. Riley Reynolds today uh, has walked and scored a run. That was back in the... Bottom half of the first. We're in the bottom of the second now. It's 3-1 with one out runner first. Here's the pitch to Co- from Kobe. That is hit to deep center field. More left center. And uh, you know, kudos to Coach Atkins because Joe was playing right where that was hit. And that's, that's almost where that alley is. They had a little bit of a shift on there. And he was in the right place at the right time. But yeah, I've always had a lot of respect for uh, catchers. And Nick, for only being a sophomore in high school, I mean, he's really stepped up and taken, kind of taken that role this year. And a lot of times it seems like with that catcher position, you, uh, you kind of go with a freshman and you let him play varsity for four years. So Kobe Grell out on the mound, one on, two away. No runs in here this half inning. It's Michael Stein. He hit a double his last time up. And he's going to hit one foul down the first base side. So 0 won one the count. I always feel like if you've got a strong, you know, you've got to have a couple arms in the stable to make a deep run into the tournaments. Yep. yep. You've got to have a solid catcher. You've got to have a solid shortstop and a center fielder. That, yes, it's shortstop, center field, catcher. But the main thing with that is, you know, if you're going to make a good run, you've got to be solid at the plate one through nine. Yep. 0 won one the count here to Michael Stein. Here's the pitch to the plate. He's going to pop one up left side. That's going to be kind of no man's land just beyond third base. And Lundquist out in left field gets it in. That's just a little bloop single there. So today he is two for two, a double and a single. He's only a triple and a home run away from the cycle. (laughs) Two away, two on, brings up Max Carney last time up. He hit a pretty deep fly ball. And look where Joe's playing. He's playing in the gap of left center right now. And he's even he's more left field than he is center field. Now he's going to take a couple more steps. And uh, Bryce Kramer's playing in that right center gap. If this kid could pull one down the right field line, he's, he's Here, golden. That's going to miss outside ball one. You know, if you had a runner at third here, and you're confident in your uh, batter with how deep everybody's playing for his power, you could lay down a bunt down the first baseline if he had some speed. Kobe's going to step off the back of the mound. I like uh, the option to take a little extra time here. Now, Atkins moving Kramer a little bit more to the right. There's a big gap straight up the middle. Here's the pitch. Swing yeah, straight, straight away center field is wide open. But Joe was in the right place last time. He was. One ball, one strike, two away. Runners at first and second. You've got... Peterson at second, Stein at first after a little bloop single. 3-1, Spirit Lake leads, bottom half of two. Here's the 1-1 pitch, swing and a miss. Nice pitch there by Kobe to Max Carney, a 259 hitting catcher for Spirit Lake. Nice size crowd here on hand. Everybody's uh, you know following the rules, every other row of bleachers. You see families sitting together. I feel like for the most part, people are kind of doing what they need to be doing at baseball games. Here's the 1-2. Swing and a miss. Nice strikeout there for Kobe Grell. That's his second one of the evening here. So in that half inning, Spirit Lake scores no runs on two hits, one error, two left on base. And the Braves will have the top of the order with Clark, Mummer, and Joe Benson coming up. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're tuned in to Forward Digital Solutions and KCHE AM 1440. 
Market for a new or used vehicle, then visit Holzauer Motors in Cherokee with two locations to serve you. The Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealership across from the airport on Highway 59 South or the GM dealership on Highway 59 North. And if it's service you need, they feature ASC factory trained service technicians dedicated to fix your vehicle right the first time. Customer service from Holzauer Motors is top of the line in their state-of-the-art facilities on a first-name relationship with their customers. Visit their website, www.holzauermotors.com for their entire new and used inventory and don't forget to like them on Facebook. Um, I like those. Yeah. 1920s, the Boothby family has been serving the people of the Cherokee area. Our name is synonymous with professionalism, caring, compassion, and understanding. As third generation funeral directors, Richard and David Boothby pride ourselves in our commitment to the families we serve. We will provide a professional and dignified service for your loved one. Whether it is a traditional service, cremation with a memorial service, or a simple graveside service, we would be honored and privileged to serve your family like it was our own. Contact Richard or David Boothby and set up an appointment and put your mind at ease. The Boothby Funeral Home on East Main in downtown Cherokee. We are heading to the third inning. Three to one in favor of the Cherokee Braves, and it's going to be the top of the order with Nick Clark. Today, Nick is 0 for 1, flew out to center field. Frost is stabbed to the plate. Outside ball one. He does have a quick delivery. He, he gets it to the to the plate pretty quick. There's some kids out in left center field. I keep seeing this. It's like I don't know if it's like a beach ball or or something. They, I just keep seeing it flying back and forth. Swing and a miss there by Clark off the heater. One ball, one strike. No outs. Nobody on. Top half of the third inning here. Looks like they're still playing softball on the uh, softball field. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Runs inside on Nick. You just got to love the looks of this. It's a perfect evening. You see the baseball and the softball field in the, in the uh, distance. It's, this is what it's all about, summertime in Iowa right here. If you're watching on Fuller Digital Solutions, you can kind of see what we're talking about. 2-1 and one the count. Clark reaches out, pokes that one. Shallow center might fall in, but no. Nice running play by the shortstop, Riley Reynolds. That's out number one. Brings up Simon Mummer, batting 167. You see Nick Clark wears one batting glove. A lot of kids, seems like more kids are kind of shying away from batting gloves. I see a lot of kids that don't wear them anymore. Not my kids, because I get the bill for them. <laughs> Here's the pitch to the plate. Swing and a miss. Good cut there by Simon. I'm assuming uh, out of all the baseball gear, aside from the ball itself, batting gloves are probably at the bottom of the list price-wise. A new glove can cost pretty oh, good. Yeah, we don't even want to get into that. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a chopper down to third, over to first. In time, easy play for Lawton Kramer down at third. So that's out number two, Joe Benson. And bats, bats are... And then today, you know, the way the world is today, everybody's got to have their own bat, their own helmet. So, yep. you know, you got to indulge into that. But, you know, if you if you buy a, a decent bat, that can last you a couple of years. It's an investment. I would be a little bit shy to buy a bat just because of the fact they change the rules on them every so often. I know they just deadened them up a couple of years ago. Here's the pitch. First pitch strike to Joe. A lot of first pitch strikes tonight. Joe today is one for one with a double. Scored the Braves one run back in the top half of the first. We're in the top of the third now. Joe Foul tips one straight back. 0-2. And a couple weeks ago, I think you were at the game. Uh, you went to uh, Rams and St. Mary's versus Trinity, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the home plate umpire, I think he caught a fastball from Harpen off the hands. He caught two that night. One off the hand and one off the in. Did he get one on the thigh or the arm? I, I, I think he may have, well, he got that one, and then I know there was one that bounced in front of the plate, and we'll just say it hit him below the belt, but yes. he, he kind of got beat up a little bit behind the plate. I think both times he took a good couple-minute break that night. The 0-2 is outside, 1-2, and two, but uh, since then, you know, I, I kind of got to thinking, and I've been talking with umpires, and kind of the, the, the general ideal that I get is it's the worst when it comes off the batter's bat straight back at straight you back. because the catcher's not going to get it. Here's the one, two. Ooh, swung at a high one, strike three, out number three in that half inning. Braves scored no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We're going to go to the bottom half of the third. Due up for Spirit Lake. It's going to be batters four, five, and six with Cole Whiting, Lawton Kramer, 
and Isaac Early. We will be back here in 60 seconds on KCHE AM 1440 and Fuller Digital Solutions. Since 2010, our team at Ludvigson Chiropractic has been helping our patients feel like the best version of themselves. Dr. Kayla and Dr. Sarah provide treatment plans that are personalized to each patient's specific needs. Through chiropractic and acupuncture services, along with manual therapy techniques and kinesio taping, patients receive relief from back pain, sports injuries, and more. Dr. Sarah now offers microneedling as well. Acupuncture treatment helps restore overall well-being from chronic pain to new injury. We'd love to discuss whether acupuncture is right for you. Through chiropractic and acupuncture, and it's given me a great quality of life that I have never expected. Visit Ludvigson Chiropractic to get on the road to a healthy lifestyle. Exit Realty of Cherokee. Visit them online at ExitRealtyMidwest.com, a proud supporter of the Cherokee Braves Athletics and Academics. Cherokee Regional Medical Center, Cherokee Regional Clinics, Home Health, Hospice, and the Wellness Center. Hi, this is Jeff Schuver, a former Cherokee Brave. Stop on out to Danny Sports Spot after the game. KCHE AM 1440, along with Fuller Digital Solutions, we're back here in Spirit Lake. Lakes Conference baseball action. We are headed to the bottom half of the third inning. Spirit Lake leads 3-1. to one. Nice night for a ball game. Kobe Grell's out there this half inning. He's going to face Cole Whiting. I believe it's Whiting. Let me make sure I wrote that down correctly. Cole Whiting, yes. And then you have Lawton Kramer and Isaac Early. This is kind of the little bit of the lineup that got to him in the bottom half of the first. There's one up and away from Kobe. Want to know the count? It was fun to watch Kobe, you know, really progress this last basketball season. You know, he had that knee injury last year in baseball, had to sit out football. We missed him in football. He, Him and Ryan yeah. would have been quite the duo. Nice breaking ball. Falls in. One ball, one strike. And then uh, beginning of the season, Kobe was a little bit slow on that knee, but, you know, really kind of like right after Christmas break, that holiday break, he came back and Kobe played some really good basketball games. He, he evolved so much as a player. He went from just kind of shying away. And here's one pops straight up. Kobe puts it away. Kobe went from the year before being the scorer. I yep. think he learned a lot about scoring isn't everything. Yep. And, you know, doing a lot of other things make the team. And, you know, I'm thinking about it. You know, uh, Kobe's going to be going to Briar Cliff to play basketball. And we were talking, he's going to be playing with uh, uh, Spencer Shorg, played at Remsen St. Mary's. And uh, Spencer was like 20 points away from being the all time scorer at St. Mary's, which it had been set like two years prior by Nick Rudin, who also plays at Briar Cliff. In there for a strike to Lawton Kramer. So, what you're saying is Briar Cliff could be set for a few years? Yes. And I always kind of make the joke that Remsen St. Mary's is Briarcliff's farm system. <laughs> Here's the 0-1. This one's going to be poked up right side. Comstock gets underneath of it, puts it away. Good job by Aiden there. At first, I thought he didn't see it, maybe battling the sun a little bit, but he was able to put it away. So that will be out number three, or out number two. Coach Atkins is adjusting his outfield back to I would say this is normal. And this is Isaac Early. Here's the first pitch to Isaac. In there for strike one. Kobe's kind of finding a little bit of a groove here. Pounding the strike zone. Two away. Nobody on. Kobe comes set to the plate. Popped up straight back. That's probably going to get out of, well, no, nope, goes back in. Clark makes the play. And that's a, such a tough play for the catcher because you got to get out of your stance, ditch the mask, find the ball, and, and you're, turning, you're turning around before you find the ball. So yeah. you're, you're a little disoriented, and then this play set yourself. There's a lot of things that go under that play. But, but he made it look easy. Clark made it look easy. Do up for the Braves here. We're going to the top half of the fourth with a Spirit Lake 3-1 to lead. Do up for the Braves. It's going to be Trey Benson. Aiden Comstock and Drew Spooner back in 60 seconds on KCHE AM 1440 and Fuller Digital Solutions. Snooks Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, your hometown flooring, furniture, and accessory store. Accommodating to your needs with quality products and awesome prices. The original Snooks Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, on your way anyway. 
Snooks Carpet and Furniture is on your way and ready to help update your home today. They offer free delivery, 0% financing options, and everyday low sale prices. So please stop by today. The original Snooks Carpet and Furniture in Sioux Rapids. Since 1953. Thank you, Denise, and all of the sportscasters for their support. Comprehensive health care is available to you from your friends and neighbors at Cherokee Regional Medical Center. When you need us most, we're here with trusted professionals, medical expertise, and advanced technology to take care of you. From obstetrics and family medicine to surgery and physical therapy, let our dedicated team provide you with compassionate care, quality health care, close to home. Our promise is a positive, friendly care experience every time. Get professional care made personal at Cherokee Regional Medical Center because it's all about you. KCHE AM 1440 along with Fuller Digital Solutions. We're headed to the top of the fourth. And to the plate here for the Braves is Trey Benson batting 333 this season. And uh, today he has been hit by a pitch. See a couple different puppy dogs at the park here tonight. Foul the way. Are you excited for basketball to get back at all, the NBA to finish? Yeah. I am. I think I'm just more excited just to watch sports. Sports in general. <laughs> I have a feeling, you know, I saw a picture of Zion Williamson, you know, for the Pelicans. He looks like he's ready to go. And this ball is hit hard to left field but caught. So Benson flies out to left field. I'm going to be excited to see what LeBron James looks like with about four months of rest. Yeah. Or eight, five months, something like that. Yeah. You know, we're and everybody's healthy. You know, there was even some talk of, like, uh, Kevin Durant coming back and, and playing in the playoffs wow. for the Nets. But I think the Nets have kind of much, pretty much packed it in for this year. Here's the pitch. Uh, that's going to be pitch number one to Aiden Comstock from the left side of the plate. 1-0. But uh, I saw, because, you know, you think about it, they, they had, uh, uh, what's the guy's name, played for the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, here's the 1-0. Catches the outside corner, one and one. DeAndre Jordan and uh, Kyrie Irving and uh, Kevin Durant. That's a pretty good trio. They're stacking it up. But uh, Durant didn't want to come back, and I think Jordan tested positive for COVID. I think there's going to be a lot of that. Yeah. I just hope my Dallas Mavericks can stay healthy. I knew you'd come to that. Well, I mean, you, you got uh, Luka Doncic. Here's the 2-1. Outside, 3-1. Today, Comstock 0-for-1 did reach on an error. But you got Luka Doncic and um, uh, Kerstaps Porzingis. Those two haven't really played all that much together. Here's the 3-1. Inside, that's going to be ball four. So to the plate here, it's going to be Drew Spooner, second baseman. Eighth grader getting that varsity time. See some of Drew's family here. His dad, Jason, uh, ran the Sioux Valley Golf Tournament a few weeks ago. That was ran perfectly. Jason puts in a lot of hard work for that. I think he missed a baseball game or two because of that. But he, I, I think he missed Drew's go-ahead hit at ELC. Yes, <laughs> two-run double to go ahead. Yeah, I texted him that night, and he, had to, he asked me, is it on varsity? Like, exclamation points. 1-0 the count, one out, one on. Comstock gets a lead at first. Frostestead comes set to the plate. Chopped down to third. Over to first, that'll be a fielder's choice. Man, that third baseman's got a strong arm, Lawton Kramer. And now they go to second base, and they got him. Did Aiden, I was looking down here, did Aiden he, just turn it too wide? He, he turned the base and rounded a little bit too far. So that'll be a 5-3. to three I mean, which you should. You're rounding second yeah. when the throw goes to first. So outs, but he just he got caught off a little bit too. Outs two and three, so the Braves score no runs, no hits, no errors, one left, nobody left on base there with the double play. We're going to go to the bottom half of the fourth. It's going to be Cornwall, Donker, Sloot, and Peterson back in 60 seconds on four digital solutions and KCHE. We have been serving the financial needs of this area for a long time. Many of today's customers are the great-grandchildren of yesterday's. As we look ahead, we are very thankful for the opportunity to serve the financial needs of this area. Cherokee State Bank, member FDIC, a tradition of community banking. It's a tradition that's just our way. Cherokee State Bank, celebrating 125 years of serving you. Thank you to these and all the sports.
It's about caring for one another, loving one another, being there for family and friends. At Holstein Senior Living, we are here to provide that little extra care while you live life to the fullest. Wake up when you want. Participate in daily activities at your discretion. Eat meals on your time, which includes an all-day breakfast menu. All with the comfort of knowing there are trained professional staff available at any time for the little extra caring things that may require a helping hand. Holstein Senior Living, offering assisted and independent living options with care. Support these businesses who support the Cherokee Brave. KCHE AM 1440. <laughs> Got to give a shout out to uh, Ryan Hurd. Ryan giving a listen and Ryan says talk more about the Lakers we can talk about the 2011 Lakers when they were I think it was the Western Conference was it the finals or semifinals ask me what happened in that series what happened Keith? Dallas swept them <laughs> for some reason yep I could have had two guesses and the second one didn't count, <laughs> didn't count. I would have guessed that's where that's what you were going to talk about but they've got a lot more rings than the uh, Mavericks have. So we'll give you that one, Ryan. Here's the first pitch to Cornwall. Kobe throws it in there. Trey from third to first. Comstock couldn't have caught that if he was 12 foot tall. And the runner will go to second. Keep that ball in front of you. So an E5. You could kind of see it rise as it came out of his hand and... And I think Trey may have, he, he rushed that throw a little bit just because he was playing deep to begin with, and he kind of thought, oh, man, this kid's got some speed. i got to hurry up this throw. Uh, you know, if, if we were playing at Cherokee on turf, that's that's an everyday routine play. Yep. Trey would have made that. And like I said, these guys are second. Oh, they're almost like they're second-guessing themselves in this, when, they, when the ball comes off the grass. So Coach Adkins wants to have a meeting. He's going to call everybody in. We'll take a minute timeout. Runner at second, no outs. We're in the uh, bottom half of the fourth. It's 3-1 to one, Braves lead. Back in a minute. Sioux Valley Family Health will provide quality health care from newborn babies to grandparents. Our vision is to improve the health of our community by improving the health of the families who live here. It is our priority to treat each patient as if they are our own family when you enter our clinic doors, as if you are entering our home. I'm Dr. Chris Vandaloon, and I have loved taking care of people in this community for 15 years and look forward to doing so again in this family-centered environment. I'm Mason Goble, one of the $500 KCHE Sportscaster Club scholarship winners. Thank you to all the businesses who make this possible each year, including... At High Country Salvage and Towing, they are buyers of scrap iron and metals and provide towing services. Call 225-6000. Start your path to better health today with my dad, Dr. Dean Kennedy at Kennedy Chiropractic in Cherokee. The Kiva Boutique in Cherokee, where you can find fashion for work or play in just your size. Get a win over your hunger with Godfather's Pizza in Cherokee. Do it. KCHE AM 1440 back to action. It's a 3-1 lead for Spirit Lake. I accidentally said Braves lead at the end of the break there. Here's the pitch. That one's going to miss. Uh, actually, that's going to hit the batter of uh, Donker Sloot. And that's what you don't want to do uh, for your batters of 7-8-9. Let them get on base with a uh, hit by pitch and an error. So two on here with no outs. We're in the bottom half of the fourth. Ryan says, uh, just a reminder, 16 championships. I think 12 of those were won when there was about six teams in the NBA. <laughs> now you talk to guys like John O'Connor, and he says, uh, you know, when he was growing up, and I'm not trying to date John by any means, but uh, he says, you know, when I was a young kid, you know, I've been around a while, uh, you know, every Sunday watching NBA, it was like Philadelphia versus Boston every single Sunday. He goes, Cause that, those were about the only couple teams that were <laughs> that were playing. We've got a pinch hitter here. This is number 13, I think. Uh, freshman Braden Thiesfeld. He's a 167 hitter. He's going to attempt to bunt. They're going to throw back to second base. I feel like if Spooner would have been able to get there, that Clark would have got him. It would, the throw was there in time. Would have had Cornwall getting off second base. So it's Thiesfeld. At the plate, see if he shows bunt again. It's a 1-0 count. Here comes the pitch, squares the bunt, throws it low and away. The Spirit Lake coach wants to, you know, bunt these runners around because next up you got your top of the order hitter to the plate with no outs and two on. Kobe going to step back off the mound. 
Kobe throws with pretty decent velocity. If he could throw a fastball right down the middle, maybe you get that bunt to pop up. Outside 3-0. 3-0 the count. It's got to be distracting for the pitcher to watch that, you know, the guy put that bat out to bunt. 3-0 the count. Runners at first and second. Let's see if he squares around here again. He's going to. Ball four. So that moves Cornwall to third. Docker Slew to second. Peterson to first and at the plate you've got Riley Reynolds, the shortstop, batting 360 today, 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. Are you looking over my book and going, man, that's a mess? <laughs> some, as long as you can read it. Well, some guys, do you do, you do it where it's like one inning, then you shift over a yes, column? that's the way I do But it. see, I don't like doing that because, you know, what if you bat around? Then you just you erase the three at the top and make it a two, and you go two columns a second inning. I don't know. I just like doing it this way. But when you, but you've been doing it that year, that way for years, so that's yep. to each their own. Bases loaded here for Riley Reynolds, last time up. Flew out to center field. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. And Bryce Kramer out in right field. There's a pretty big gap out in right field. He's kind of playing more towards right center. Joe's kind of playing left center. Trevor at left field playing right where he should be. A deep fly ball would score a run here. 1-0 the count to Reynolds. Kobe out of the stretch. Comes set. Now to the plate. It's going to miss high. Ball two. So we know we've got Ryan Hurd uh, listening in here. He's uh, sending me messages. Uh, Ryan's going to be going to Northwestern, and if Ryan's uh, still listening, maybe he can, uh, you know, I'll ask him, you know, who what, who's he looking forward to playing with at Northwestern? So now they put a 3-0 count on the board. In there for a strike. Kobe needed that one. So Kobe Grell, three and one count here on the mound. And at the plate, it's Riley Reynolds. A ball here would bring in a run. That one just barely missed. Reynolds kind of threw that bat back to uh, the on-deck circle. I'm assuming the softball game is done. Looks vacant over that way. What's that? 15 to zero after three. Thank you. Spirit Lake won that. So Donker salute to third. Peterson to second. Reynolds with the walk. Brings up left-handed hitting Michael Stein. So it's 4-1 to here. Bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. Ooh, that took a terrible hop right in front of the plate. Bounces over the catcher, Clark, and the home plate umpire. Makes it all the way to the backstop. And it didn't hit with enough velocity for it to bounce back. It just died right at the fence. So a pass ball brings in Donker Sloot, makes it 5-1. to one. That hit about the worst possible spot that it could. It did take kind of a weird bounce. Right at the front of the plate. Michael Stein at the plate with a 1-0 count. He's a 424 hitter. That's going to miss low, ball two. With a 424 hitter at the plate and first base open, bases, well, with second, third, would you put him on? But but then you would bring up Max Carney, who's his average his average is two fifty nine, but he's a better hitter than that. So lefty at the plate, Michael Stein, two zero the count, pops one straight up. That's actually going to land in shallow left center, and the runner at third will come in and score. They throw the ball home. Clark will throw down to third. Runner is safe if he stayed on the bag. Yes. So that's going to be a hit, single, with an RBI. So that scores Peterson from third. Reynolds goes to third. So now runners at first and third, no outs. So far in this half inning, it's one, two, three runs in with no outs yet. So uh, we're going to take a break here. We might have a pitching change. 6-1 to one, Spirit Lake leads back in 60 seconds. 
account of your own can be a challenging task. That's why I went to North Star Community Credit Union. They help make my finances easier to handle by offering me the services and products I need at a price that will fit my budget. They've got it all. Savings, checking, ATM or debit card, loans, direct deposit, free online and mobile banking, e-statements, bill pay, and much more to suit my busy lifestyle. See for yourself why so many people like me have made North Star Community Credit Union their one-stop financial institution. Visit their offices in Cherokee, Ida Grover, Sheldon to start an account today. Federally insured by NCUA, you've got a strong credit union behind you. Listening to the Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCHE. I'm the head basketball coach, Mark Hurd, asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. Hello, this is Phil, your high for a new or used vehicle, then visit Holzauer Motors in Cherokee with two locations to serve you. The Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram dealership across from the airport on Highway 59 South or the GM dealership on Highway 59 North. And if it's service you need, they feature ASE factory trained service technicians dedicated to fix your vehicle right the first time. Customer service from Holzauer Motors is top of the line in their state-of-the-art facilities on a first-name relationship with their customers. Visit their website, www.holzauermotors.com for their entire new and used inventory and don't forget to like them on Facebook. And precision handling to help ensure optimum safety for you and your passengers. I'll fit your car with tires that deliver everything. Ask about Michelin tires. Northside Tire, located in Highway 59 North in Cherokee, has the right set of Michelin tires for whatever you drive. See them today or call 225-4613. Specific performance may vary by tire model. I'm Cherokee Head Grill Fastball Coach Brandon Slaughter. Thank you to these KCHE Sportscaster Club members. Hazel Hawk Construction in Cherokee is proud to be a KCHE Sportscaster Club member. Good luck to the Cherokee Braves from Hazel Hawk Construction, your residential, commercial, and industrial contractor in Cherokee. At Menards, you can find all the supplies you need for your home improvement project in one stop. Menards has the best selection of building materials, lighting, paint, and finishing supplies, and more. Save big money on all of your home improvement needs at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Because of the KCAC Sportscasters Club members, more than 90 Cherokee Braves athletic events are broadcasted each year. I'm Jennifer Ollendorf, head softball coach, saying thank you to these businesses for making this possible. Ludvigson Chiropractic and Acupuncture, dental care with a personal touch. The Mother Hen, where every purchase makes a difference in the Cherokee community. A proud supporter of the Cherokee Braves. Munson Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning is a proud supporter of Cherokee Athletics. Call the Munson Clean Team when your team tracks a mess. Go Braves! Thank you for listening to Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCHE. I'm head baseball coach Ty Thadkin asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. Northwest Realty on Historic Maine is proud to be a Cherokee Sportscaster Club member and wants to wish all area athletes good luck. The Cherokee Subway invites everyone to stop in and enjoy a fresh and healthy sub. Subway offers a huge selection of sandwiches guaranteed to satisfy any taste. Subway, eat fresh. North Star Community Credit Union in Cherokee. There is a difference. Simon Mummer on the mound for the Braves. That one's going to miss, I think... Oh, it's Bryce Kramer. He misses uh, up and inside, 2-0. and Bryce has thrown the ball pretty well at the varsity level from my understanding. I don't think I've seen him pitch. Comes to the plate. In there for a strike. Nice spot for that one. Good pitch by Bryce. Uh, let's tell you a little bit about Bryce. Bryce Kramer has pitched seven innings, thrown 112 pitches. He struck out one, a 1.91 ERA. Hitters are hitting 393 off him, so he throws strikes. That one just misses outside. We've got runners at second and third here. It's a two and one count here for three and one, I believe. Yes, three and one for Max Carney. Here's the pitch from Kramer. Outside ball four, going to load him up. That's always tough for a guy to come in in an inning where you've already given up a couple runs. You've got a couple base runners, and now... Bryce can go, he can go to the full windup here if he wants to. Yeah. Even with no outs runners, uh, you know, on every base, you can you can still, you know, maybe get a little bit comfortable. And to the plate here, it's Cole Whiting. So there's been three runs in here in this bottom half of the fourth. And the bases are loaded. No outs. Kobe Grell started off, you know, pitched solid. Just kind of got into a little bit of trouble. You know, the error didn't help. A couple walks, a couple hit batters. Here's the pitch from Kramer, and that one is smoked down the left field line. Good thing it's foul. 
Got a couple of boys uh, playing catch over here. Not sure who uh, either one of them are. It's Gabe Gravenish. Gabe Gravenish and Austin Bosch. Okay. So Gabe Gravenish uh, warming up. So base is loaded here, and it's a 0-1 count to Cole Whiting, a 333 hitter this season. Here's the pitch from Kramer. That thing is hit to deep center field. Joe will get the ball in. Goes to third. Nice throw. A one hopper to third. And Kramer, I think that was or no, is that Trey over there getting that? Trey, that third. Yep. Didn't wasn't sure if Trey went somewhere else to cover. Uh, that was a deep sack fly. That was a nice throw by Joe. Sack fly RBI brings in Reynolds. Stein to third. Carney's courtesy runner to second. So that is the one, two, three, fourth run in. And it's seven to one here in favor of Spirit Lake. That runner did not go to second. He still oh, he didn't. First. He is still first. It's good to have an extra set of eyes around here. I was trying to find him in <laughs> second, and I just couldn't find him. I think that side-by-side -side needs another gear. <laughs> There's a side-by-side -side driving behind us. That's the fun thing. by more than once. That's kind of the fun thing about Spirit Lake, you know, being up here. There's, you know, some convertibles, motorcycles, side-by-sides. Fun different vehicles to look at. Here's Lawton Kramer. Today he has hit a two-run double. That was back in the first inning. Nice pitch there from Bryce Kramer in for a called strike one. Coach Atkins at the uh, in the dugout clapping his hands, happy with that. 0-1 the count here to Kramer. He's one for two. Last time up, he popped up to Comstock at first. Good job by Clark, dropping to his knees, using that chest protector, keeping that ball in front of him. One ball, one strike, one out. Two on, runners on the corners here. It's 7-1, Spirit Lake leads. Kramer working out of the stretch, comes set, goes to the plate. They're going to throw down to second base. Did they get him? No. And a run will come in and score. So Stein comes in as that courtesy runner's down to second, makes it 8 to 1. One out here in the bottom half of the fourth. Lawton Kramer with a one one count, one out, one runner on. It's eight to one. Spirit Lake leads. Kramer out of the stretch comes to the plate. Gonna miss high ball two. I'd like to see maybe get uh, Kramer get that uh, front leg kicked up as he's coming down a little bit. Kind of keeps it low to the ground. Here's the pitch. Nice breaking ball. Ooh, where'd that miss? I thought it caught the corner. I thought that was right in there. So a three and one hitters count to Kramer. He's a 219 hitter this season. Back in the bottom half of the first, he drove in two runs with a double. Here's the three one. Popped up. That's going to be shallow center field. Joe will put it away. So a long out there. It's out number two. Brings up Isaac Early today. He's 0 for 2. He's popped up over to the first base side. And last time. Clark caught the pop-up. He's actually the ninth batter this inning. Runner at second. Eight to one here. Spirit Lake leads. There's two away. Softball team lost 15 to zero tonight in three innings, but uh, I know Coach Ollendorf is happy with the way, I think she said earlier this week, you know, the, the scoreboard might not show up, but these kids, they're making improvements. And out in front of that one, this one's uh, to deep left center. Trevor puts it away. Nice running over the shoulder catch for Trevor Lundquist. In that half inning, Spirit Lake scores one, two, three, four, five runs on no hits and one error and a sacrifice fly. Uh, so we will go to the top half of the fifth, eight to one in favor of Spirit Lake. Do up for the Braves, Kobe Grell. And it will be Edwin Staver and Trevor Lundquist back in one minute on KCHE AM 1440. 1920s, the Boothby family has been serving the people of the Cherokee area. Our name is synonymous with professionalism, caring, 
compassion, and understanding. As third generation funeral directors, Richard and David Boothby pride ourselves in our commitment to the families we serve. We will provide a professional and dignified service for your loved one. Whether it is a traditional service, cremation with a memorial service, or a simple graveside service, we would be honored and privileged to serve your family like it was our own. Contact Richard or David Boothby and set up an appointment and put your mind at ease. The Boothby Funeral Home on East Main in downtown Cherokee. Thank you for listening to the Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCHE. I'm head volleyball coach Charity Anderson asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. O'Halloran International, a major international dealer in Cherokee. We service all makes of trucks. Quilt and Caboodle, East Main in Cherokee. Find everything for your quilting needs. RK Construction, Rob Canigator, RJ Thomas Manufacturing, and Pilot Rock Signs are proud of all area students and all you do. KCHE AM 1440. We know Harris Lake Park. Uh, 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 Harris Lake Park. MMCRU. Uh, girls beat Harris Lake Park uh, 14 to 0. So, uh, you know, nice to see the, the MMCRU girls getting back out there. Here's a base hit, yes, for Kobe Grau. And he's going to round take a look at second base. Good to see Kobe get a base knock there. He was due for one. Brings up Edwin Staver, left handed hitter. Runner first is Kobe. Here's the pitch. Outside. I think that outside pitch was by design. To Edwin Staver last time up. Struck out looking. Getting a taste of varsity here. Edwin doesn't use batting gloves. Here's the first pitch. That's going to go all the way to the backstop. Kobe will round second and take a look at third. I don't think I would want to run on uh, Max Carney, the uh, catcher. He's no. Max looks like he could throw the ball <laughs> if he wanted to. Looks like he could probably throw it through the scoreboard from. <laughs> Just looks like a strong kid. 2-0 the count. 3-0 here to Edwin. On deck, we've got Trevor Lundquist. And Trevor's one of those kids that, uh, you know, he's batting that number nine spot. His average is 176, but he hits the ball hard. Ball four. Trevor's due for a hit. He is due for one. So now, uh, Carney and the uh, pitcher Frostestead are going to talk things over. So Trevor Lundquist, and with speed here, and runners at first and second with no outs. See if uh, Trevor decides to lay down a bunt. And then he'll outrun it. <laughs> He is quick. Do you think if uh, Trevor Lundquist and I were going to run to the outfield fence and Trevor started at home plate and I started at the grass in the outfield, do you think yes. Trevor would yes, beat me? Yes, he would beat you. I agree. Lays down a nice bunt. Throw to first is in time. He'd probably beat me by about 10 steps. Yes, I think he would. <laughs> so sack bunt. Did you think I would say you would win? No. Okay. So two runners in scoring position here for the Braves. Top of the order, Nick Clark. And this is the positions you like to find yourself in. Two runners in scoring position, one out, top of the order. Top of the order. Clark takes a look at a strike. That's kind of okay. – Clark usually never swings at that first pitch. I think this is – is this his first game maybe, I think, batting leadoff? He, he led off last night at Newell Fonda. Last night was the first night. I think it's a good spot for him. Here's the 0-1. Puts this one right at the middle. That's a base hit. And coming in to score will be Kobe. Kobe even had time to pick up the uh, <laughs> the bat on his way to home plate. Simon Mummert to the plate. So that scores Kobe. Staver goes down to third. So runners at first and third. Might want to try. I don't know. Clark's quick. Clark I was just, just going to ask you, do you send Clark? <sighs> With one out, I don't think so. Not with that lead. <laughs> he needs to get off the bag if he's going to go. Want to know the count to Simon Mummert. Runner at 
Runners at first and third. Mummer at the plate. Here's the pitch. In there for a called strike one. Clark, probably the second quickest player behind yeah. Trevor Lundquist. Behind Lundquist yeah. I think back to the football season. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. I think it was the Missouri Valley game. Uh, Comstock and I talked about that the other night. Uh, football game. Nick Clark took the opening kickoff back to about the two or three yard line. He's got speed. I believe the count is one and two. That's going to be poked out to left field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Staver will score. So, back-to-back singles. RBI singles. Clark goes to second. Now you're in the heart of the lineup. Yep. Eight to two. Three. Eight to three is two runs have come in. Now you got Joe Benson today. He's doubled and struck out. Frost is dead. Out of the stretch here. See how much of a leash they have for Frostestead. One more base runner, and I think I would look at getting him out of there. Here's the pitch. This is low and away. He's been a little sporadic this last inning. A little bit of a breeze rolling in here. One and zero. The count to Joe Benson. Here's the pitch. Misses 2-0. See Coach, uh, hear Coach Atkins down the third baseline giving directions. Thanks for joining us if you're watching on Fuller Digital Solutions. Sarah Williams doing a great job with the handles over there. Here's the pitch. Inside called strike. That pushed Joe off the plate quite a bit. 2-1 and one the count. <laughs> that one's in there for a called strike, so two and two. I got a suggestion that uh, you and I race from home plate to center field, and the loser has to buy a pork roast between you and me. That uh, No. <laughs> okay, all right. I was going to say game on. Here's a ball hit off the pitcher's glove to the second baseman, so that'll be a fielder's choice. Can I ask who suggested that? Troy Valentine. Leave it to Bubba. <laughs> Runners move up. So that, I just think Troy wants a free meal. Yeah. Either way, I would still, if I were to win, and if you bought me the pork roast, I'd still invite you over for pulled pork. I'd invite you over, yeah. That's fine. And you know what? Troy's not invited. Okay, yeah, no Troy. No Troy's club. All right, here is Trey Benson. Misses low on away. That's ball one. And Troy actually sent me a text to start the game off. Uh, he's watching online, I believe, the uh, video stream. He says, that's a nice uh, camera angle you got. You know, if every place had a, ni a nice setup like this. It is set up about perfect. Trey absolutely hammers one foul. Out of play down the third base side. So that will bring the count to one ball, one strike, two outs. Braves have scratched across a couple runs here. Kobe singled. Edwin Staver drew a walk. Lundquist bunted him over. Nick Clark hit a single that brought in Kobe. And Mummert hit a single that brought in Grell. Or, excuse me, St uh, Staver. Here's the pitch. Misses outside. Two and one the count here to Trey. It's a nice night up here at Spirit Lake. This is about as perfect as it gets for a night of high school baseball. Two and one the count. Here's the pitch. This one's popped up foul. That's going to hit the street. Is the truck going to run it over? Ooh, just missed it. <laughs> it was kind of like watching something in slow motion. The truck's going down the street. The ball's rolling right towards the back tire. Two and two the count. Fouled off again. Trey battling at the plate here. So two and two the count here to Trey Benson. Trey today, one for two, or no, 0 for one, excuse me. He was hit by a pitch and flew out to left field. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two runners on. It's Trey Benson. It's 8-3 to three in favor of Spirit Lake. Here's the pitch. Low and away. Full count, two outs, second and third. 
On deck, you've got Aiden Comstock. Full count pitch to the plate. That's going to walk him and load him up. No movement from that uh, Spirit Lake dugout. Aiden's been hitting the ball as good as anybody this year for the Braves. He's got a 375 average today, 0 for 1 with the walk and reached on an error. That's on that left side. So runners get a lead here, bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Good cut there by Comstock. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1 the count with two outs. We're in the top half of the fifth. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. So Comstock needs to protect the plate here. Bases loaded for AC. Here's the 0-2 to the plate. Outside, Clark holds at third. I thought uh, Frost instead maybe rushed that pitch to the plate. He was pretty ready to the plate there. I say he has a quick delivery to begin with, but he was he was extra quick that time. And that pass ball just died when it hit the grass. One and two, the count. Two outs, bases loaded. Here's the pitch to Comstock. Called strike three. And the Braves put across two runs that half inning on three base hits. They leave three base runners. Eight to three, we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Due up for Spirit Lake. It's going to be batter seven, eight, and nine with Cornwall, Donker, Sloot, and Peterson. Back in a moment, you're tuned in for Digital Solutions and KCHE AM 1440. Snook's Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, your hometown flooring, furniture, and accessory store. Accommodating to your needs with quality products and awesome prices. The original Snook's Carpet and Furniture of Sioux Rapids, on your way anyway. Snook's Carpet and Furniture is on your way and ready to help update your home today. They offer free delivery, 0% financing options, and everyday low sale prices. So please stop by today. The original Snook's Carpet and Furniture in Sioux Rapids. 92.1 FM, AM 1440. Thank you for listening to Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCAT. I'm head baseball coach Ty Thadkin asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. Ryder Family Dentistry in Cherokee, your whole health family dental practice. Sanford's Museum and Planetarium, good luck to our Cherokee Braves. Ron's Repair wishes the best of luck to the Braves this year. To get your vehicle running like new, see Ron's Repair. For commercial and residential needs, clean up with ease with help from Sanitary Services in Cherokee. I'm Cherokee High School Principal Wade Riley. I'm proud of our faculty, coaching staff, and students who give their all each year. We are proud of the SportsCast members who support Cherokee Athletic Broadcast on KCHE, including... SCE Construction and Excavation can help you with your excavation needs. Piling, drainage, waterways, and land clearing. Talk to Corey Bouchard at SCE Construction and Excavation, Cherokee. Swain Motor Company, FNS Auction Services, and Mike's Body Shop. Remember us for quality used vehicles, auction services, and auto body repair. Thank you for listening to the Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCHE. I'm the head basketball coach, Mark Hurd, asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. American National Soy and Bio with Nutraceuticals in Cherokee. One of the largest organic oil seed processors in the U.S. offers the only 100% certified organic soy lecithin in the world. They are proud to be a part of the <laughs> rapid growing area and their community. Go Braves! Thank you to these and all the sportscasters for their support. <clears throat> KCHE AM 1440. Welcome back to Spirit Lake. It's a 8-3 lead here for Spirit Lake. There's a ball hit right over the glove of Comstock. Just... Sliced foul. Looks like my tee shot off a of number one tee box. <laughs> one ball, one strike here to Jake Cornwall. Today he's 0 for 2, has reached on an error and scored a run. It's Bryce Kramer into pitch here. Coming in relief of Kobe Grell here last inning. 8 to 3, Spirit Lake leads. Here's the pitch. Foul down the third base side, so one and two the count. Yeah. 
Nice night on hand here. I'd say that ice cream truck is smart. I was going to say, it looks like the ice cream truck was just here. Because there's no concession stands here. Nope. One and two, the count. Popped up high. Kramer called off by Clark. I think that was the right choice there. You never really want your pitcher catching those as they're, you know, they've got the forward momentum coming down that pitching mound. Kale Donker salutes to the plate today. He's 0 for 1, reached on an error. He's been hit by a pitch and scored a run. Kind of a, not sure what kind of vehicle, maybe an old Chevy ice cream truck. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss up and in. It's definitely noticeable. That's an old Ford. One and oh, the count. One out. Nobody on here for Spirit Lake. Bottom half of the fifth, it's eight to three. Two and zero, the count here to Donker Sloot. Kramer out of the full windup comes set to the plate. Nice pitch there, swing and a miss, strike one. Two and one, the count, one out, nobody on. It's Kale Donker Sloot, the number eight hitter. Two and one, the count. Nice off-speed pitch there, just missed. Three and one the count. Here's the pitch. Hit him. One away here. Brock Peterson, or is this, what number is that? Number 13, I believe that's uh, Braden Thiesfeld again. A 167 hitter last time up, he walked. So these fell at the plate. Runner at first is Donker Sloot. Here's the pitch. That's going to be hit out towards right field. Caught. Out in right field by Kobe. I thought he was maybe going to drop that. <laughs> but either way, he caught it. One on, two outs. Top of the order here, Riley Reynolds. Eight to three in favor of Spirit Lake. Reynolds today 0 for 1, two walks and two runs scored. So if you don't want him to score a run, keep him off base. That's right. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> two outs runner at first here. Kramer doing a fine job coming in, pitching in relief of Kobe. And Kobe pitched pretty well through strikes. Here's the pitch. Misses high, that's going to be ball one. So working out of the stretch, Kramer comes set. Comes to the plate. In there for a called strike. Kind of a little delayed called strike there. One and one the count with two outs. Runner at first. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss upstairs. So Neil, you're uh, you're kind of the the meat man. What, what do you have any uh, you know grilling tips for folks uh, this Fourth of July at all? Don't mix the grill and fireworks. Don't mix the grill and fireworks. There we go. Low and slow always wins. Low and slow wins the race. Here's a ball hit foul down the first base side. Comstock actually made a pretty good. Backhanded grab at it, but it was in foul territory. I grilled myself a ribeye the other night for the first time since I think last fall. I've been at ball games for the last three weeks. Yeah, it's. I had an off night, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get myself a ribeye and some stuffed mushrooms. Now, are you a gas grill or a charcoal grill? I like gas because it's quicker. Yes, two and two, the count misses upstairs, and, and I feel like. 
if you know what you're doing on a gas grill, I mean, charcoal does have better flavor, but um, my boss, Simon Fuller, he's a charcoal guy, and I say charcoal is a crutch for the talentless. Here's a ball hit out to left field. That's going to fall in for a fair hit. Cherokee fans don't like it. I think it was fair. It looked fair to me. That's going to be a double. So Reynolds with a double. Michael Stein to the plate here today. Stein, two for two, a double, a single. Uh, Let's see here. No, actually, he's three for three with a single. I don't even know what I was writing down there. That's a bunch of scribbles. Uh, You can't read it, I can't. (laughs) It's a single. He's got a single, two singles, a double, and an RBI, two runs scored. It's a pretty good night. Two in scoring position. Here's the pitch from Kramer. That one's hit foul down the left field side. Owen won the count. But, yeah, I tell Simon Fuller he he likes charcoal. I say charcoal is a crutch for the talentless griller. (laughs) And I I, I cook on a wood smoker, fellow wood smoker. Smoker's uh, something I haven't really got into. Someday I will. Here's the old one. Misses outside. That's ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. And a smoker will fit in the back of a minivan. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. (laughs) Are you the one that helped me load yes. in the minivan? <laughs> Here's the 1-1 one, one with two outs. Here's the pitch. That's going to hit the outside corner for a called strike two. That was a few weeks ago. I think it was Father's Day weekend, or no. Was it was right around. I'll put you on the spot. I remember it was your wife's birthday weekend because that's what you said you were doing it for. May 11. Here's the pitch. That's a line drive shot right up the middle. One run will score. Joe's going to throw it to the plate. Got, Got him. him. Ooh. I don't agree with that one. I think Joe got him at the plate. Joe made a heck of a throw, and I think the tag was there. I, uh, yeah. There was a slim chance he slid on. I don't think so. The, um, the umpire waved his arms to foul territory as if the tag was to the side, but I don't know. 10-3 to Jack, three now. Coach Atkins asks for an explanation. You know, I, I always, I, I don't mind kids, you know, going to the field umpire. Now. You can ask for that second opinion. There's, it doesn't, doesn't cost you anything. Here's the pitch. Ball one to Max Carney. 10-3 to three now. I believe it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So far, two runs in here this half inning. I believe both of those, uh, well, yeah, both of them with two outs, back-to-back doubles. Swing and a miss there by Carney. Carney today, 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly, an RBI, and a walk, and he also struck out. 10 to 3 in favor of Spirit Lake. 0 and 1 the count to Carney. Actually, it's one and two now. They've got it wrong on the scoreboard. I'm fairly confident. Yes, the first pitch was the first pitch. I'm not the best bookkeeper in the world, but. Well, if you kept the book my way, it would be a lot easier to read. (laughs) It's one and two. Here's the pitch. Outside, two and two. I do things my way. It works for me. I've been doing it this way about, I think this is my 10th summer calling baseball games. Is there a game that sticks out? Here's the two-two. Swing and a miss. Strike three out, number three. Nice pitch by Kramer. And that will retire the side there. Two runs in, two doubles. One runner left on base. The Braves will have Spooner, Kobe Grell, and Edwin Staver coming to the plate. We're going to the top half of the seventh inning already. We'll be back in one minute here on KCHE AM 1440. Because of the KCHE sports game.
comprehensive health care is available to you from your friends and neighbors at Cherokee Regional Medical Center. When you need us most, we're here with trusted professionals, medical expertise, and advanced technology to take care of you. From obstetrics and family medicine to surgery and physical therapy, let our dedicated team provide you with compassionate care, quality health care, close to home. Our promise is a positive, friendly care experience every time. Get professional care made personal at Cherokee Regional Medical Center because it's all about you. Cherokee School System, I appreciate all the community support we receive each year. We have been serving the financial needs of this area for a long time. Many of today's customers are the great-grandchildren of yesterday's. As we look ahead, we are very thankful for the opportunity to serve the financial needs of this area. Cherokee State Bank, member FDIC, a tradition of community banking. It's a tradition, that's just our way. Cherokee State Bank, celebrating 125 years of serving you. We're on AM 1440. <laughs> Uh, you, you think, you, you asked me in the 10 years I've been doing this, it was back in the tum, summer of uh, uh, 2016, uh, Rems and St. Mary's uh, defeated their conference foe in a Class 1A state championship. They beat uh, uh, West Sioux 8-5. to five. And the funny story about that, the next year, West Sioux played Rems and St. Mary's in a sub-state just to go to state. It was a state championship matchup I just to get to state. With, I think, was that in Lamar's? It was in Lamar's. I was, I was with you that night. And it was packed over there. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a called strike to Drew. Are we in the top of the sixth or seventh? One and one. Six. Top six. It is six. I was going to say they put up seven last time. I thought, oh, wow. That's going to miss up and in to Spooner. Two and one the count. Ten to three, Spirit Lake leads here, top half of the sixth. It's Drew Spooner at the plate. Foul tipped. Two and two on deck is Kobe Grell. Then it would be Edwin Staver. A basketball game that comes to mind, I think it was this uh, winter of 20, was it 14 or 15? I know uh, South O'Brien won a boys class 1A state basketball championship. In there for a called third strike. Got him looking. Spooner ducked out of the way because yeah. it, like it was going to hit him. Uh, but that year, uh, South O'Brien won a Class 1A state championship as a, uh, I can't remember if they were the 7 or 8 seed, but it was a 7 versus 8 seed for a state championship oh, wow. between uh, uh, St. Albert's. Of Council Bluffs, Council I think. Bluffs, Council Bluffs, St. Albert's. Albert's. Which, you know, those St. Albert's teams, they always get into the postseason. You're like, oh, they don't have a good record. Well, look at their schedule. They're playing like 3A and 4A schools. Yep. Here's a line drive, base hit by Kobe Grell. His second base hit tonight. Yeah, back to back singles here. Today, Kobe is now two for three, two singles and a strikeout. Edwin Staver today is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Last time up, he walked and scored a run. That was back in the bottom half of the fifth inning when the Braves put two more across. Top of the fifth inning. So Edwin comes to the plate. On deck, it's Trevor Lundquist. Pitches outside to the lefty Staver. 1 0 the count. Here's the 1 0. That's going to miss. 2 0 the count. And I think the football, MMC won eight man state championships in 2012 and I think 2014. And this last year, watched uh, called the state championship game for OABCIG. So in my 10 years, I've called three, four, five. It's won every other year. I mean, I can't. <laughs> Can't really complain no, about that. No, you can. And it seemed like, you know, early in the, you know, 2010, 2011, it was like a lot of our teams, you know, get in the postseason and um, just couldn't get out of the, you know, first couple rounds. Here's the 2 0. Staver hits one to second base. They'll go to second. Over to first. That's a 4 6 3 double play. Was that out number? Yes. Yep, outs two. Four, six, three. Outs two and three. 
Hit the ball hard, but right to the second baseman. Just barely got Kobe Grell. We're going to go to the bottom half of the six. It's 10-3. Spirit Lake leads. A due up for Spirit Lake. It's going to be batters. Four, five, and six with Whiting, Kramer, and Early back in. 60 seconds on Fuller Digital Solutions and KCHE AM 1440. It's about caring for one another, loving one another, being there for family and friends. At Holstein Senior Living, we are here to provide that little extra care while you live life to the fullest. Wake up when you want. Participate in daily activities at your discretion. Eat meals on your time, which includes an all-day breakfast menu. All with the comfort of knowing there are trained professional staff available at any time for the little extra caring things that may require a helping hand. Holstein Senior Living, offering assisted and independent living options with casters for their support. Thank you for listening to the Cherokee Braves on your local sports leader, KCAT. I'm head volleyball coach Charity Anderson asking you to please show your support to these businesses who support your Cherokee Braves. The Cherokee Pizza Hut is a proud supporter of the Cherokee Braves. Head in to fuel up before you head to the field. Season Center for Behavioral Health, providing therapy and skill-based services in the Cherokee Community School. For all your pet boarding and grooming needs, call Val on Bow Wow Boutique. Good luck to the Braves. Thank you to these KCHE Sportscaster Club members. KCHE AM 1440. We are headed to the bottom half of inning number six here in Spirit Lake. It's 10 to 3. And uh, due to the plate here, it is Cole Whiting. This is his fourth plate appearance on the left side. We've got a couple lefties right here in the middle of their lineup. Here's the pitch outside from Kramer. Good pop in the glove, missed away. Let's see here. Cole Whiting today has been hit by a pitch, scored a run. Popped up to the pitcher, had a sacrifice fly, RBI, and here he is for at-bat number four. 1-0 the count. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike. Another one of the coolest things I think I've seen in my sports broadcasting career is uh, Darian Porter from uh, Bettensdorf ran a 4 6 9 9 400. Here's a chopper to Comstock. That took a terrible hop. That's one you hate to give the kid an error, but you have to. It, it looked like it was it going right <clears> in his glove <throat> and then bam. <laughs> Just took a big hop. Yeah, he ran a four, 46.99 second 400. That's, flat, flat. That's quick. He's playing uh, football at Iowa State. I would imagine, I don't know if he redshirted last year. Last year would have been his freshman year, but uh, he's he's one to watch out for. If he can catch anything at all. <laughs> we know he can run. <laughs> Here's the pitch. In there for a strike to Lawton Kramer. Lawton Kramer today, one for three. Back in the bottom half of the first inning, had a two-run double. Well, he's popped up the last two times, once to third, once to center field. Runner first with no outs. Kramer comes set. It's 10 to 3. Spirit Lake leads. Low and away. Ball one. One ball, one strike. And, you know, uh, I missed the state track meet this year. It's always fun to, uh, you know, kind of get the books. And uh, Tim Dwight, former Iowa Hawkeye, still has a lot of Class 4A oh, yeah. records. Yep. I forget what it is. I know he's got like the 200 and the 400. Or the, I think he's got like a, he's got the 100 and the 200 for sure. Here's Benson at third over to first. The throw almost pulled Comstock off the bag. That's out number one. That moved Whiting over to second. To the plate here, Isaac Early. He's 0 for 3, a 129 hitter this season. So it's Isaac Early, Kramer working out of the stretch. Comes to the plate. In there for a strike. Coach Adkins being vocal. I think the kids really like Coach Adkins. I think so, yeah. Got to turn your microphone up here. Here we go. Uh, that pitch is going to miss low ball one. And it's nice having a guy that's a head coach. He's involved with football and uh, the strength and conditioning. So he kind of has a, a little bit of a hand in everything. One and one the count, one out, runner at second base. It's Isaac Early. Kramer comes set. Comes to the plate, up and in. Quick throw back to Kramer, and it's two and one the count. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> with one out. Runner at second one. The top half of the sixth. It's 10 to three. Spirit Lake leading. Kramer out of the stretch. Looks in to Clark. Brings the two one to the plate. Ooh, must have missed just a touch low. Looked good from here. Three and one the count. One out, runner at second base. Here's the pitch from Kramer. That is tattooed out to short. Gets right underneath of Mummert's glove. But uh, is that Joe out there was backing it up? Center fielder was backing him up. Joe runs about to the shortstop position to throw the ball in. Because it looked like he was going to round third and go home. And then when Joe was there, they held him up. So it'll be E6. Runners on the corners. At the plate, Jake Cornwall. Today he's 0 for 3, has reached on an error and scored one run. Thanks to all of our Sportscaster Club members as well as the Fuller Digital Solutions sponsors. Thanks to Sarah Williams making the trip up here to Spirit Lake. Running the computer controls for us. And uh, Spirit Lake coach coming out might have a uh, pinch runner here. And I, I tell you what, you know, looking at, uh, I don't have all the brackets in front of me, but I know in Class 1A, uh, Alta really have bumped down to Class 1A, so there's a possibility that Rems and St. Mary's would play Alta really in a sub-state game. And that would be a tough matchup. St. Mary's, I would give them an advantage in the pitching category. In the hitting category, I would give it to Alta Rilia. I'll go with you the night you call that game. <laughs> that'll, that'll be a good game, if that's the one. Kramer comes set. Comes to the plate. Misses just a touch outside to Cornwall. And a funny story, I was talking to a guy uh, here in town. Um, his son plays for Algona in football. So I was kind of telling me, oh, Cherokee might struggle a little bit in football this year, but, you know, maybe towards the end of the season we'll have things kind of dialed in. There's a strike. He said his son's a senior. I said, oh, so you were on the, the team last year when uh, OABCIG won a state championship. He goes, yeah, the alphabet team. <laughs> <laughs> There's more and more of those all the time. One and one to count. One out, runners at first and third. And Kramer's going to step off the back of the mound. Kind of kind of felt the energy kind of leave this at the, the stadium here as we're getting late in the game, and it's a seven-run lead. Here's some fireworks. Can see them off in the distance there. There's a ball. Two and one the count. Cherokee plays. Is it Sioux Central or Sioux Center? I believe Cherokee plays Sioux Center. First round. But is it at Sioux Central? It is at Sioux Rapids. Sioux Rapids. Yep. <laughs> Three and one the count. I know that first night, uh, that'll be a week from Saturday. The 11th, yep. Yep, the 11th. I know I'll be in Remsen for a doubleheader, I think. Uh, uh, South O'Brien, I think, plays Galen. Then it'd be Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn. There is a base hit out to left field. Lundquist stays in front of it. Run, one run is in. Scores, scores Whiting from third, early to second. That's a single and an RBI. 11 to three. One out, runners at first and second. Cale Donker salute to the plate. Today he is 0 for 1. He's reached on an error and he's been hit by a pitch twice and he scored two runs. So he's been on base every time. On base percentage is good. One away here. Kramer comes set, comes to the plate. This one's popped up sky high out towards second base. Spooner, or actually, Mummer. Mummer made that. He had to lay out to dive to get it. I think Spooner lost it in the lights. That thing was hit a mile high. Brings up Brock Peterson. Probably should have been a, oh yeah, this is a Thiesfeld. He's down here. Uh, number 33. Braden Thies. Braden, Braden Two on, two away. That one's going to miss outside to Thiesfeld. Eleven to 
seven to three. Spirit Lake leads here. Two outs. Here's the pitch. This is low, ball two. Two and oh the count. Kramer comes set, two on, two outs. Here's the pitch, misses low. That's gonna get past Clark. Nothing he could do about that one. <clears throat> so that moves early down to third. Cornwall to second. 11 to three in favor of Spirit Lake. I think Coach Atkins giving the guys a three day weekend here. Uh, yes. Yep. So. And I think kids need that. I, I mean, as much as they've shoved into three weeks of this season, I mean, they they got to have some time. Yeah, they got to have some downtime. Here's the three zero. In there for a called strike. To Thiesfeld. Refresh over the weekend. Come back ready for a couple yeah. last two games next week, and then the tournament starts Saturday. They only have two games next week. That's that's um, parents' night Monday and Wednesday night. Okay. Here's the three one in there for called strike two three and two. And, you know, I, I'm, I mean, obviously nobody wanted the coronavirus pandemic to happen, but I think for some of these high school athletes, especially these four-sport athletes, I think a little bit of a break, probably good for some of these kids. Here's the 3-2. That's ball four, going to load them up. Because as we all know, just because it's not basketball season doesn't mean basketball's done. No. And not to pick on basketball, but. No, nope, there's a lot of kids that play AAU. So Riley Reynolds today coming to the plate for his fifth at bat. Today he has walked, popped up, walked, hit a double, and scored three runs. So once again, if you don't want him to come across the plate, keep him off the bases. Don't let him go on <laughs> the base. You know, this Spirit Lake team has surprised me this year. I, 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 I did a podcast to kind of start uh, the season off, and I need to do a follow-up one. I'll probably get one in this weekend. I've been waiting for the second one. I listened to the first one, and I've been waiting for the second one. I've just one. been so busy with Sioux Valley Golf Tournament, and last Sunday I just kind of spaced it off. Here's the pitch. That ball is hit to center field. Can Joe get there? He did. Makes the catch. So we'll go to the top of the seventh. In that half inning, Spirit Lake scores one run. On one hit, one error. 11 to 3, the Braves will have one quiz, Clark and Mummert to the plate. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're tuned into Fuller Digital Solutions and KCHE AM 1440. Sioux Valley Family Health will provide quality health care from newborn babies to grandparents. Our vision is to improve the health of our community by improving the health of the families who live here. It is our priority to treat each patient as if they are our own family when you enter our clinic doors, as if you are entering our home. I'm Dr. Chris Vandaloon, and I have loved taking care of people in this community for 15 years and look forward to doing so again in this family-centered environment. Good luck. Hey, Pelican Man. The account of your own can be a challenging task. That's why I went to North Star Community Credit Union. They helped make my finances easier to handle by offering me the services and products I need at a price that will fit my budget. They've got it all. Savings, checking, ATM or debit card, loans, direct deposit, free online and mobile banking, e-statements, bill pay, and much more to suit my busy lifestyle. See for yourself why so many people like me have made North Star Community Credit Union their one-stop financial institution. Visit their offices in Cherokee, Ida Grove, or Sheldon to start an account today. Federally insured by N. CUA, you've got a strong credit union behind you. Seventh. Here's ball popped up right side. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Or Trevor Lundquist. Speed on the bases, top yeah. of the order. And Tre I thought Trevor, you know, the right fielder out there, uh, which is, I think, Thiesfeld, didn't really make a play at it. He just, I would. He probably thought it was, because it was barely fair, so he probably thought it was a foul ball. I'm going to give Trevor a single. Could be an error, but in my book, that's a single. Trevor, you get a single, man. All right, Nick Clark to the plate for the fourth time today. One for three with a single and an RBI. And that hit him. A lot of fireworks going off here. You know, I was in uh, Storm Lake. Was that Monday Cherokee played over there? Yep. I believe so. And then uh, there was fireworks going off when I was talking with Coach Atkins. Then on Wednesday night, last night I was over in Marcus, 
Let's talk with Coach Harpenau from St. Mary's. There's fireworks going off in the background. That pitch misses outside to Simon Mummert. Tis the season. Did you buy any uh, fireworks? Nope. You're not a fireworks guy? Not a fireworks guy. I'll sit and watch them. Maybe wait till the kids get a little bit older to. Yeah. yeah. There's one foul straight back. What was the name of that guy that played for the New York Giants that uh, had the fireworks mishap, really injured his hand? That was a Pierre Paul. Yes, Jason Pierre Paul. I wonder what he's up to now. Leave the count two and one. Here's the pitch. In there, called strike. Two strikes either way. On deck, we've got Joe Benson. Then it would be Trey Benson. Two on, no outs. The Braves would need to muster up eight runs here to uh, force the bottom half of the seventh. In there for a called strike three. Breaking ball fooled Mummer on that one. And again, that looked like it was going to hit him. Yeah. That's going to bring up Joe Benson. Today, Joe is one for three, a double run scored. One away here, two on. Joe digs in. Ball one. Frost is dead. Uh, you know, he's still got good pop in the glove yeah. here late in the game. Yep. I have noticed, uh, you know, this last week here, the first two weeks, pitchers were going out pitching two or three innings with aside from a few pitchers in the area. That one's going to miss outside. And uh, now here this last week, I've seen kids throwing Coach, Coaches more, are letting them go a little bit longer. Which I think that's the right way to do it. It's a 2-0 and o count here to Joe Benson. Pops this one up left side down the third base side. Out number two. So that's going to bring up Trey Benson. <clears throat> Adam, not Adam, Aiden Comstock will move on deck. Trey Benson today, 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch and walked. Put the bat on the ball once. Here's the pitch. Inside ball one. So we've got Lundquist at second. Clark at first. We've got speed on the bases. Just need a little gapper here. Get a couple more runs. This is outside 2-0. and 2-0 oh. and oh the count to Trey Benson. Came into the game batting 333. Here's the pitch. That's a hard hit ball through the left side of the infield. And they held up Lundquist at third. And as soon as he held up at third, the left fielder bobbled the ball. Brings up Aiden Comstock. Today, Aiden 0 for 2 has reached on an or 0 for yeah 0 for 2 has reached on an air and walked. First pitch, and it's going to be hit to the shortstop, and he will go to. That's going to be an error. Brings in a run. You know, that was a tough ball for the shortstop because the... Uh, Went right between the umpire's <laughs> legs. The umpire was right there. Brings in Lundquist. Clark to third. Benson to second. Comstock at first. Brings up Drew Spooner. Today, Drew is 0 for 3. He's popped out, grounded out into a double play and struck out looking. Puts the bat on the ball, a chopper to third, over to first. That's dropped. dropped. First base and dropped it. Two runs come in. So E1 or E3. Comstock goes to third. Clark scores. Benson scores. Good base running there by the Braves, having the awareness. So, so far in this half inning, one, two, three runs in. And we're going to have a meeting on the mound. We'll see if we have a pitching change. If we do, we'll... we got a pinch runner coming in for the Braves. Probably going to run for Spooner, I would assume, maybe. We'll Riley see. Miller is going to run for Comstock at third. Riley Miller. Not sure if I know Mr. Miller. Riley Miller was a freshman this year. Okay. Brings up Kobe Grell. Kobe Grell swinging the bat well. He's 
Two out of three today. Two singles and a run scored his last two times up. He's jumped over first pitch fastballs and put them both into play. Yeah, I think both of them were first pitch, yes. So 11 to 6 in favor of Spirit Lake. Jumps over it. It's a second, third, short stop. The throw to first, not in time. An Another error. The Braves scratch across another run. It's like the Indians don't want this to end. Yes. And I'm not saying they're, I mean, they're easy plays, but they look no. like routine ground balls. So 7 to 11 in favor of Spirit Lake. Brings up Edwin Staver. Today he's 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored. So Spirit Lake <clears throat> needs to get one out before four more runs come in. Staver's going to lace that's one out to left center field. The gap. Falls in. One run is in. They're waving Grell around third. Kobe comes to the plate, needs to get down. He's in. Staver, a two-run double. This Braves team is fired up right now. That scores uh, Spooner and Kobe. And three of the last four batters for the Braves have been eighth graders or freshmen. So now you've got Trevor Lundquist at the plate in the tying run <laughs> at second base. I believe they'll pinch run for Staver. Who's this coming in, Mr. 22? Let's see. All right, Braves are fired up. Sam Gabers out at second base. He's the tying run. The Braves have drove in one, two, three, four, five, six runs here. One, two, four of the six have been with two outs. And a base hit scores this run because he's going to be going on the pit. He's going to be going on the hit of the ball with two outs. So Sam, Frost is there. Sam, Sam's got some wheels. One twist at the plate here today. He's one for two. Last time up, he singled. And now he's going to get to third. They Wait. changed it to nine? I, Is it they nine? must have had the score wrong on the Let's scoreboard because now it says 11 One, to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That okay. is correct. Yep, they're right. So the tying run's <clears> at the plate. <throat> tying run at the plate with Trevor Lundquist and a 1-0 count. Want to know the count to Lundquist? It is nine, yes. Nine to 11. Spirit Lake leads, but uh, the Braves have put in six runs here in the top half of the seventh. Six of them with two outs in there called strike. Even if the Braves, uh, you know, can't tie this up and force the bottom half of the seventh, have to be proud of the way the kids are just staying positive and hitting the ball. Go into the last week of the season a positive. Swing and a miss behind that one. Against a, I mean, you're doing this against a good Spirit Lake team. Yeah, a team that's top of your conference. So here's the one two to Lundquist. Just missed outside. I thought the ump was going to give that to him. As a strike? I, I, thought, I thought it was. I, I thought he was going to give that to him. The first thought that crossed my mind was maybe Trevor should have just stuck his bat out there just to foul it off or something, fight it off to live to see another one. Here's the two two to the plate. This is hit. Deep right field. Uh, it's catching, hanging, caught for out number three. And Trevor's mad, but don't be mad at yourself. I mean, Trevor plays with such passion. Yep, yep. But uh, six runs, four with two outs here in the top half of the seventh. So I'm going to go ahead and give up my uh, post game. So the final score here is 11 to 9 in favor of Spirit Lake for the Cherokee Braves. Uh, Nick Clark had a single and an RBI. Simon Mummer had a single. Uh, Joe Benson had a double and a run scored. Trey Benson had... A single and a run scored. Aiden Comstock reached on an error twice, walked, scored a run. Drew Spooner uh, reached on an error once and scored a run. Kobe Grell uh, was two for four, two singles, two runs scored, also reached on an error. Edwin Staver was one for three, uh, had a walk and a run scored, but a nice two-run double there right down the alley in left center here in the top half of the seventh. Uh, Trevor Lundquist was one for three with a single and a run scored. Uh, for Spirit Lake, Riley Reynolds, uh, he was 0 for 2, three runs scored. No, he was 1 for 3 uh, with a double, three runs scored. Michael Stein was 4 for 4, two runs scored. See, two doubles, two singles. Max Carney was 
0 for 2 with a sacrifice fly RBI. Cole Whiting, uh, he was, let's see here, 0 for 3 hit by a pitch. And, excuse me, 0 for 2 hit by a pitch, reached on an error, scored two runs. Lawton Kramer was 1 for 4 with a double and two runs scored. Isaac Early was 0 for 4, reached on an error. Uh, Jake Cornwall uh, was 1 for 4 with a single and an RBI, reached on an error and scored a run. Cole Dankersloot was, let's see here, 0 for 2, reached on an error, walked, hit by a pitch, scored two runs. Uh, Brock Peterson was 1 for 1 with a single, and Thiesfeld uh, was 0 for 1, two walks and a run scored. So final score here, Spirit Lake takes down Cherokee 11 to 9. That will wrap up this broadcast. Thanks to Sarah Williams. Thanks to uh, for Neil Cruz. Thanks for by me. here doing a little play-by-play uh, color action. Uh, Braves fall here 11-9. That will wrap things up for me.